Here is Eric Dubé atop the 1,000-foot Bayok Tower 2 in Bangkok, Thailand. You'll hear Dubé make the claim that, quote, the horizon will always be at eye level no matter how high you are, unquote. Listen to this. We're up on the Bayok 2 Sky Tower in Bangkok, and it is the tallest building in Bangkok. 84 stories high, so we're about a thousand feet up, which with a curvature calculator says the horizon is about 37 miles away from us. So if we're looking out 37 miles that way, there's about 37 miles the other way. We're talking 72 miles, and we're up a thousand feet. And after 37 miles, there should be a thousand feet of curvature. So the horizon should be 2,000 feet below us, technically. But it's right at eye level, just like it will always be, regardless of how high you are. If you're up on Mount Everest, it's still at eye level. If you're up in an airplane at 35,000 feet, it's still at eye level. And if you're taking a high-altitude balloon as high as it goes, 120,000 feet is still at your eye level, proving that you're over a flat plane. Because if you are over a ball, no matter how big the ball was, the horizon is the curvature of the ball. So it cannot rise up to your eye level. So we should have to look down right now to be able to see the horizon. Well, Eric, this handheld theolodite demonstrates the Earth is not flat because you will have to look down more and more to see the horizon as you increase in altitude. Now, at sea level, we see the theolodite is equal to the horizon. Then at 1,200 feet, the curvature causes the horizon to drop below eye level. Then at 5,600 feet, the horizon drops even more, thus proving the Earth is a globe. 